Hello everyone, this is Hemin and welcome to another new drawing video. Today we are going to draw a fruit basket in cute style. If you wanna follow the drawing process and use the same brushes that I use, I'll leave the link in the down description box. So check it out if you wanna try the brushes. These are today's references of fruit baskets. I wanna draw the most basic fruit and kind of quality style. I don't want to draw the same style of basket from the picture of fruit baskets. I want to draw a different style of baskets that have bigger texture or bigger pattern and more like a boxy style. Also, I hope it has like a cotton white fabric. I think it'll be very cute and feminine. Now let's just start the drawing. Light blue is always my favorite color for sketching step when I draw digitally and I reduce a little bit of the transparency. For today's drawing, I'm gonna draw completely side or the front view. When I think of a basket, I'm not sure which one is the front or the side. So I'm gonna put a photo here and I'm gonna draw the side. So I hope you can understand what I mean. If you are unsure how to keep the drawing in the center, in a layer, draw two long lines as a mark. For me, I just drew only one vertical line because I wanted to see if I'm drawing the right scale. I tend to draw horizontally big sketch. This is a habit since I was a little, so I heard about it a lot from teachers, my childhood teachers who said I should fix it a lot of time. Personally, I like making the initial sketch really really detailed, tidy, neat. Before I sketch more details of the basket, I'm gonna show how I sketch fruit and draw circles initially and put them where I think it is the right spot. For grapes, I drew groups of grapes first and drew only big branches that I can see easily from the photo. After that, I find and drew each single grape. As I drew illustration in my style, in cute style, I don't draw exactly what I can see from the referencing photos. As long as anyone can recognize what I drew or what we drew, I think the drawing style can be more creative. The easiest way to draw a pair is that draw a small ellipse on the top and a big ellipse at the bottom, draw a little stick on the top, connect the two ellipses on each side. The way to draw an apple is draw an ellipse and a stick on the top. So far, it looks like a tangerine. To make it look like an apple, draw short wavy lines on the top and at the bottom and connect them. When you add a color, you could paint in one color, but depending on kinds of apple, they actually have more than one color. So I'm gonna paint it like that reference. I think that looks more interesting. When I draw fruit, even though there's not any leaves from the referencing photos, but I love adding leaves because they make the drawing look fresher. Also, I'm gonna add a face on one of the fruit. Now, I'm gonna draw more details of the basket. When you wanna illustrate a basket for the first time, it may look complicated to draw or it looks like too much work. But if you can understand how this pattern works, it is so easy to learn to draw. To draw the pattern of the basket, draw every vertical line first, and then draw horizontal lines. Now we have to get rid of some vertical lines to make it look like a node. When you do this, if you feel like it is confusing, mark everywhere you need to remove. After that, it'll be look like this. Personally, I prefer making the bigger pattern, so I would increase the size of the note, just like this. When I'm about to end the sketch, I added a few stars and added just the whole size again if we need. This is how it looks like after finishing line art. I drew line art in dark red so that I can make a cozy warm vibe and also it is easy to add just the colors later. Currently, I'm making an initial color palette. I'm not sure if I want to make a bright basket or a dark brown basket. We'll see how I end up doing. 
I actually change colors a lot of time after adding、um, all of the colors. Most of the time, I don't like the first color that I use. I've finished adding the overall colors that I need to fill. In case you missed the painting process of the basket, I'm gonna show a slower, timeless version. If you can see the referencing photo again at the top left, the pattern actually has at least more than two color tone. It might be a very small, tiny thing, but if you apply it into the illustration. The drawing style gets interesting. I'm gonna add three different tones for this drawing. I wanted to see how I'd feel like if I changed the、uh, red grapes to green grapes. I didn't like it. Now I'm gonna add just the colors of the lines and fix some small details. On this process, I make the lines slightly brighter. It takes quite a while because I need to select with my pencil. After this process, I feel like the art always gets a remarkably cute. So I love having this process. Now I'm gonna add a shade. Depending on how you feel like, you can set the direction of the light. In my case, I decided the light to come from the left. If you are struggling with how to make the grapes solid, you should think them as chunk of pieces first, and add a shade rather than focusing on single grapes. Overall, I'm not going to add too much dark shade. And too much bright highlight or detailed texture, because the fruit basket is already busy. All of the fruit in this drawing are small pieces, and the basket has a pattern. I feel like I'm showing enough details through colors. Thus, I think I don't have to draw more details in this process, and this is my drawing style. Oh, by the way, I should mention when I add a texture. On the drawing, I select each layer. After adding mid tone and core shadow, I'm going to add a reflected highlight in complementary color. If you are unsure how to find the complementary colors, go to Harmony and it will say directly what you want to use. Now I'm going to add a shadow to the basket. I'm gonna select the whole basket, so that is. Layer 24. Rather than selecting the each layers of the colors,
and then reduce the opacity to like 50 or 40 and then paint core shadow not in too dark tone also paint some of mid tone Basically, whatever I drew, my process of shading is like after adding every color with FD Groovy 1, I work for the rest of the process only with FD Fine Tip Wax. So, firstly, I add big shadow and then paint the core shadow and the mid tone. At this step, I give a really, really small pressure to the tip and try to draw very gently and then add a few short lines finalize I like adding a few stars, dots or circles, triangles in white colors to make the drawing looks more stunning 